With the final approval for the city's budget fast approaching, some of Mayor Chow's opponents are looking to make some changes for the benefit of mom and pop shops in Toronto. The owner of Nunu Ethiopian Fusion along West Bean West says his restaurant continues to need help. You know, we're in the business of a death of a thousand cuts and uh, uh, one cut less is, is, is appreciated. In the wake of the pandemic, Chris Rampin wants the city to continue to step in and offer relief. Cue Brad Bradford to try and convince city council to offer more. Small businesses are not asking for the largest property tax hike in the city's history. In fact, they're crying out for some relief. Bradford is proposing a 25% property tax cut for nearly 30,000 small businesses. That would allow a bigger break on top of what is already a 15% reduction to those who qualify, provided by the city since November 2021. He says the cut could be offset by an increase in taxes for larger commercial properties, like malls and office towers. Together, we can provide the type of real tangible relief for small businesses and put policies in place to grow our economy and improve our city's competitiveness. The councillor claims that a small business downtown Toronto could expect to save around $10,000 if the province is willing to match the tax break. It's that vibrancy, it's that economic um, initiative that really needs to be brought forward and it's those entrepreneurs, those people that are filling some of these vacancies that need that added support to make a go of it. The move is won in an ongoing political chess match at City Hall as well, with the mayor offering up her budget for council approval next week. Bradford has been vocal about his opposition to the proposed 9.5% residential property tax increase and is looking for support to make changes. 50% plus one. That's how it goes. If they could persuade other councillors to do what they want to do, I'll power to them. I think it can be a unifying element through a budget that will probably be divisive in some respects. This shouldn't be a point of division. The wheeling and dealing for changes to the budget is happening behind closed doors as well. Some councillors have said they want to give the police everything that they are asking for. And the return of snow clearing from the end of driveways continues to be a hot topic as well. Mark McAllister, City News.